Okay, um, this tutorial is going to be reviewing your PowerPoint um, assignment, which is coming up. Um, so, a good place to start is to actually go to Syllabus and Rubrics and open the syllabus. <laughs> um, you will see the PowerPoint assignment and a little description kind of about that. Um, so, basically, um, you, can, you want to follow these guidelines. The idea is, is that, you, again, you're building on the skills that you've obtained throughout the time in this course. So a couple things you want to think about in lectures that you want to be reflecting on, if you go to the course documents tab, is a few previous lectures. One part of the assignment is that you are gaining two scholarly sources. So, you know, we did that in library databases, and we did that in reading and assessing a research articles. So, you know how to find a scholarly journal and you know how to read it and integrate it. Um, the next uh, kind of big component is um, uh, considering thinking about even integrating some of the information from evaluating the website lecture um, and finding useful information in terms of websites that we find and also thinking about ethics and technology and technology and social work practice. So, if you're unsure kind of what to do or where this material is, go back to those previous lectures, basically lectures 7 through 9, and kind of review some of that. So, the assignment specifically is looking at um, you... Let's see if I can make this a little bit bigger. Oops. Um, it's for you, and a lot of students really liked this assignment when I've done this in the past, and I'm going to actually post an example, too, once I can get that. Um, but a students really liked this assignment. The idea is, is that we know technology is becoming more and more prevalent out there. When you think about your future practice, what are things that could actually be issues out there in practice um, in regards to technology? So um, NASW and ASWB has, have come up with standards for technology and social work practice. Now, those are located in the readings um, from the Ethics and Technology class, um, class 8. So, these guidelines were published in 2005, and we know there's been many advances since that date. And so, I want you to kind of be thinking about, you know, here are some standards, but there's got to be already, and it's not even been 10 years, um, some issues in terms of kind of what's published out there. The ASWB and NASW standards are very general, okay? So, if you're thinking about um, kind of maybe how social media and the impact between client and social worker, or online communication with clients, or electronic medical records, or prevention of cyberbullying, or online counseling, I mean, the topic can be anything that you're interested in that way. Um, when you think about those topics, though, I want you to connect that topic to kind of our standards for practice. All right, so think about a topic, introduce the issue that you're hoping to address. You're doing this in a PowerPoint presentation. Um, summarize um, some findings or some issues that have been noted in two scholarly sources that is connected to this kind of technology issue um, in social work practice. Now, I know every once in a while we do have some students that are not social work majors, so if you're interested in connecting it to kind of your future practice, you know, if you're um, a different major of political science or another social science discipline and you want to connect to that, please email me and we can have a discussion about that. Um, you're going to discuss the three strengths of the ASWB or NESW standards for practice and social work practice. And be really specific. Kind of what are the strengths kind of, of these standards as it relates to your topic area? Um, maybe three areas that are not very well addressed, okay, in the ASWB or NESW standards, that are not very well addressed as it relates to your topic, and kind of thinking what those would be. What additional guidelines should we come up with to address that kind of issue? Again, because we know technology is changing, and so there is going to be a lack, so what would you develop to kind of enhance that, um, to enhance the ASWB and NESW standards for practice? Then reflect on, oops, um, reflect on AS, NASW and um, the Maryland Board of Social Work Code of Ethics. Is there anything in there about technology? What is in there about technology? Um, what do you think we should maybe add about technology in our code of ethics 
either in the Maryland Board of Code of Ethics or in our NESW Code of Ethics. Um, and then think about kind of future implications. What more can be done out there? What should be done? Some of the issues with technology? Um, things like that. You want to include a reference slide. Okay, so first you're creating a PowerPoint presentation, PowerPoint, um, PowerPoint slides. Then you're actually going to record this and post it for me to review. And actually, this is where it was really cool that the students really liked this. So Jing is a free program that you can download and you can actually create video lectures like I've been doing kind of all along here, like this video right now, right? So unfortunately, Jing, well, fortunately, Jing is a free program, a free download. Unfortunately, it caps you at five minutes. So what I struggle, what I noticed is a lot of students struggle with being able to present in like under five minutes, five minutes or less, they kind of end up getting cut off. So if you need to make like two little Jing videos, you're welcome to do that, okay? So that's one of the options. The second option is that I can hold a live collaborative class, which we haven't done yet, but I could show you guys how to do that. And then you could come to a live online class and you can present your PowerPoint presentation at that to me, the instructor, and the groups. So anyway, this is actually, again, I think a really neat assignment. It kind of is, I think a lot of students are liking it because it gets them in the technology, you're actually using the technology. So many of you are using it already. And we need to tie this back to kind of the two lectures that have just been coming up, which is the professionalism and kind of social profession and things like that. So be thinking about your professional tone, your professionalism in your slides, your kind of professionalism in your audio and whatnot. So I'm really excited to see this assignment. And um, this is a really cool way for you to illustrate, um, again, the skills that you've kind of gained um, over the past few classes in terms of your work. Thank you so much and have a good day.